Father in heaven, you said, but the Comforter, which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things, and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Lord, we bow before Thee, humbly asking for the presence of Your Holy Spirit, that He will instruct us on how we can keep Your Word in our hearts and minds. How we can apply these principles to our daily lives and let it govern our thoughts and our actions. Putem aplica aceste principii în viețile noastre zilnice. Make your word a living fire. Fă ca cuvântul tău să fie un foc viu. Grant that it will consume the dross of earthliness in us. Fie ca el să consume tot ceea ce se arde, tot ceea ce este lumesc în noi. That we will desire to reflect Christ and His character. Ca noi să dorim să reflectăm pe Iisus și caracterul Său. We ask all this in Jesus' name and for His sake. Te-am rugat toate acestea în numele Lui Iisus și de dragul Lui. Amen. Amen. Now, I want to. I have a few questions here on the board. And we'll be looking at. And you have your Bibles. Everybody, everybody got. Everybody got Bibles. If you don't have a Bible, share with somebody. Acum am vedea câteva lucruri aici pe ecranul din spate. Are toată lumea în Biblie, dacă nu, să îmi punctați o Biblie. Aveți o Biblie? Aveți scriptie? Pix? Aveți creierul? Degete pe care se scrie? Acum să vorbim. First of all, our subject is the second coming of Christ. Subiectul nostru este a doua venire a lui Hristos. A second. A doua. Coming. Venire. Of Christ. A lui Hristos. Alright. Let's talk about something. Now we're going we're gonna to also bring up what, the, what they say in the world today. What some churches and denominations are saying as well. De asemenea vom vorbi și despre ce spun unele biserici sau denominațiuni în zilele noastre. Ce spune lumea astăzi. All right, let me take you up here for a minute. How does Jesus come back? Cum se va întoarce Iisus? How does Jesus come back? Cum se întoarce Iisus? Turn me in your Bibles to Matthew chapter 4, 24. Matthew chapter 24. What is the first thing, and our first question is going to be, what was the first thing Jesus told his disciples when they asked him, what shall be the sign of his coming and the end of the world? Când ei le-au întrebat care avea să fie primul semn al revenirii sale la sfârșitul acestei lumi. And what's the main thing we're looking for? What's the main part? Of, what's the main point in this question? Care este principalul punct din această întrebare? Ce căutăm? What shall be what? Sign of this time. Care care and care 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 semnul venirii sale la sfârșitul lumii. So we're looking for signs. Deci căutăm semne. And that, uh, that, uh, okay, that lead or you can say point to the end of the world. Hmm? Matthew 24, 4 and 5. 4 and 5. Let's put it. Matthew 24, 4 and 5. The Bible says, and Jesus answered and said unto them, Take heed that no man deceive you. For many shall come in my name, saying, I am Christ, and shall deceive many. What's the first thing that's going on? Care este primul lucru care se întâmplă? What's the first thing? Primul There will be a sign of 
his coming. Care va fi un semn al venirii sale. Number one, deception. Numărul unu, înșelare sau înșelăciune. Deception by man or man. A man or group of men, doesn't matter. Now, before we go any further, who first practiced deception? Where did deception first come from? In heaven. In heaven. All right. And did anybody remember who practiced what was the deception in heaven? Vă amintiți care era înșelăciunea care a avut loc în cer? Legea lui Dumnezeu este că nu este așa bun. Să mergem în Isaia, Isaia capitolul 14. Vă vreau să vă arăt două lucruri. Deceptiunea întotdeauna duce la război. Vreau să vă arăt că înșelăciunea întotdeauna conduce spre război. În Isaia 14, 12, 13 and 14, the Bible says, În Isaia 14, versetele 12 la 14, Biblia ne spune, How art thou fallen from heaven, O Lucifer, son of the morning? Cum ai căzut din cer, Luceacul, strălucitor, fiu al zorilor? How art thou cut down to the ground, which is weak in the nation? Cum ai fost zăbărât la pământ tu, biruitorul neamurilor? For thou hast said in thine heart, I will sin into heaven. Tu ziceai în inima ta, mă voi sui în cer, I will exalt my throne above the stars of God. Îmi voi ridica scaunul de domnie mai presus de stelele lui Dumnezeu. I will sit also upon that mount of the congregation that sides in the north. Voi ședea pe muntele adunării Dumnezeilor la capăt în viață noastră. I will ascend above the heights of the clouds. Mă voi sui pe vârful norilor. I will be like the most high. Voi fi ca cel prea înalt. Now, what was Lucifer's deception here? Care era înșelăciunea? What type of deception was this? Ce fel de înșelăciune a fost aceasta? Sounds much about the scene. What was the self-deception here? That he was God. That he could be 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 God. Cum se înșela el pe sine? His self-deception was that, first of all, he was a created being. În primul rând, el se înșela pe sine crezând că este o ființă creată. No matter how much he wanted to be God, he can't be God. Indiferent cât ar fi dorit el să fie Dumnezeu, el nu putea să fie Dumnezeu. In the last days, what type of deception will come to most people? În ultimele zile, cum vor fi înșelați cei mai mulți oameni? Self-deception. Se vor înșela pe sine. Question. Întrebarea. Are men being told today that they are gods? Li se spune astăzi oamenilor că ei sunt într-un fel zei sau dumnezei? Are men being told today that they can be God? Li se spune oamenilor astăzi că ei pot fi Dumnezeul lor sau că pot fi Dumnezeu? Want to make it clear, right? Să facem foarte clar. So there is deception, but one of the first deceptions that's coming is self-deception. Deci există înșelăciune și prima înșelăciune sau înșelare care vine este înșelarea de sine. Well, let's go back to the second coming for a Dar să ne întoarcem la cea de-a doua venire. The Bible says that no man deceive you and it says, for me shall come in my name and say, I am Christ and shall deceive many. Biblia ne spune, băgați de seamă să nu vă înșele cineva, fiindcă vor veni mulți în numele meu și vor zice, eu sunt Hristosul și vor înșela pe mulți. How are the people deceived in the last days? Cum vor fi înșelați oamenii în ultimele zile? Would you believe me if I said, I am Christ? Mă screde voi pe mine dacă eu spun, eu sunt Hristosul? No. Behold, my father has sent me. Iată, tata m-a trimis. Would you believe that? Mă screde de acest lucru. Why are you looking at me like that? I'm asking you a question. Why wouldn't you believe? De ce nu m-ați crede? Huh? Why would you believe? Why would you believe? De ce nu m-ați crede pe mine? What is your foundation by which you can deceive, you can be undeceived or avoid deception? Care 
este temelia prin care voi puteți evita înșelăciunea sau prin care puteți să nu fiți înșelați? The Ten Commandments? Cele de ce vă rog? Ok, I got it now. So if I have the Ten Commandments, this is the Ten Commandments. Deci astea sunt cele de ce vă rog. And a false price appears to me. Dacă am aceste de ce vă rog și vine un Hristos fals la mine. All I got to say is, thou shall not kill, thou shall not commit adultery. Că ceea ce trebuie să spun este să nu ucizi, să nu comiți adulte, e destul? Will that be enough? Va fi acest lucru destul? What is your foundation? Your foundation has to be care este temelia ta? Temelia ta trebuie să fie What does the Bible say? Ce spune Biblia? If you will avoid self-deception and major deception, dacă vrei să eviți această înșelare de sine, you must o înșelare majoră, you must know the Bible. Trebuie să cunoști Biblia. If you don't have the Bible, dacă nu ai Biblia, you will be deceived in any time. Vei fi înșelat la sfârșitul timpului. No matter how long you've been in a church, indiferent de cât ai timp ai petrecut în biserică, no matter what position you have, nu indiferent de ce funcție ai, if you don't know the Bible, dacă nu cunoști Biblia, you will be deceived. Vei fi înșelat. Now we're going to see it in a minute. Nu vedea acest lucru într-un minut. All right, so the first thing we're going to see is false price and false prophets. Okay. So could you quote? Could you quote me Matthew 24? Can you go over that with me now? Come on now. Matthew 24:4. Say with me now. Repeat after me. Matthew 24:4. Repeat after me. Matthew 24:4. Matthew 24:4. Matthew 24:4. Matthew 24:4. Reveals false Christ and false prophets. Descoperă Cristoșii mincinoși și profeții mincinoși. Again. Din nou. Can you say that with me? Puteți repeta cu mine? Come on. Haideți. Matthew 24, 4. Matei 24, 4. Matthew 24, 4. I can hear you. Matei 24, 4. Reveals false Christ and false prophets. Descoperă profeții mincinoși și Cristoșii mincinoși. Again, one more time. You say it right, we go to the next point. You don't say it, we stay right there. I got all the time in the world. Matthew 24, 4. Again. Where's Where in the Bible can I find out about false Christ and false prophets? Unde în Biblie putem afla afla despre profeți și Cristoși mincinoși? Okay, but actually, again, where in the Bible did I find false Christ, false prophets? What did you tell me? Dacă v-aș întreba unde găsim în Biblie despre profeți și Cristos mincinoși, ce îmi răspundeți? Okay, all right, ready to go next one now? Let's get deeper, let's go. All right. Okay, we're talking about a sign. So what's a, what is a sign that Jesus is about to come? Care este semnul care ne arată că Iisus va veni în această lume? What Bible text? Ce verset puteți da? Matthew 24, 4. What would it be? False prophets and false prophets. False prophets and false prophets. Acolo ne spune despre Hristos și Mimonul și profeții falși. Verse 5, you want. Verse 4 and 5. And verse 24. Yeah, we come back, we come in down there. We come in 24. Dacă vrei și verse 2 în 5, nu dar verse 2 în 4. All right, but Matthew 24, 4 and 5. That's what I want you to say first. What you gonna have? Deci, dacă vă întreb ce răspundeți, Matei cât? 24, 5, 5. Matthew 24. Matei 24. 4 and 5. 4 și 5. And look at verse 24 with you. Și să ne uităm și la versetul 24 împreună. For there, watch carefully now. Priviți cu atenție acum. Are you there? Sunteți acolo, ați deschis. The Bible says, Biblia ne spune, For there shall arise false Christ and false prophets. Now watch carefully what's coming with this now. Watch this now. And shall show great signs and wonders, in so much as it was possible, they would deceive the very elect. Căci se vor scula Hristos, Hristos mincinos și proroși mincinos. Și fiți atenți ce spune în continuare. Vor face semne mari și minuni, până acolo încât să înșele, dacă va fi cu putință chiar și pe cei aleși. What do we have here? False Christ. Ce avem aici? Hristos mincinos. False prophets, but something else. What else would it? What would a false Christ and false prophets be able to do? What would they be able to do? What would they be able to do? If possible, what would they do? What would they do? Show great signs and wonders. What would they do? What would they do? What would they do? 
Okay, so if I perform a great sign and wonder for you right now, would you say that I am Christ? No. If you saw me raise the dead, would you say I'm Christ? If you saw that dead person come out their grave, or you went to a funeral home, dacă ați vedea acea persoană că se ridică din mort sau ați merge la o casă de... I'm talking to you now. În casă de mormântări. Because everything that I'm talking about now, you think I'm exaggerating. Pentru că tot ceea ce vă spun eu acum, voi credeți că eu exagerez. But do you know, as we get down to the end of time, you will see things and hear things like this taking place? Dar știți că în timp ce ne apropiem de sfârșitul timpului, veți vedea astfel de lucruri și veți auzi astfel de lucruri. The time is coming when you cannot believe what you see. Va veni timpul când nu vă va veni să credeți ce veți vedea. You must have the word of God in your mind. Trebuie să aveți cuvântul lui Dumnezeu în mintea voastră. To resist the outward appearance of a miracle that seems unexplainable. Pentru a rezista, pentru a face față apariților miraculoase care par de neexplicat. Question. Întrebare. Miracles are no proof of the truth. Is that true? Miracolele acestea, acestea nu sunt o dovadă a adevărului. Because a person works a miracle, does that mean that they have the truth? Datorită faptului că o persoană face minuni, înseamnă acest lucru că are adevărul. But you can't tell me that. Dar voi nu puteți să-mi demonstrați asta. He healed me. El m-a vindecat. I tell you, I felt it. Îți pot, îți spun eu, am simțit. Why are you looking at me like that? De ce vă uitați așa? You got an answer. Come on, you can go. Trebuie să răspundeți. Hai, you got an answer. How would you mean it? Ce nu mi-ați putea răspunde? He healed me. Yes, ma'am. M-a vindecat. Satan can make the self-miracle. Satan can make miracles, that's right. Satan face minuni, da, e corect. But suppose I heal you, okay? That's the place where I'm going to be in the garden. Suppose this man gets healed. Let's say his hand was broken. With him, right? And all of a sudden he said, in the name of Jesus, heal his hand straight now and everything, okay? Now, I say now, now that you've been healed, praise God. Right, you praise God. Then I say, in the name of Jesus now, follow, follow the Good Shepherd and let us continue to believe on the Lord and be saved. Now I work the miracle. But let's say the miracle was genuine. Does that make it? Does that now stand mean that I have the truth? Okay, you said no. Why? I suppose no. That's it. Because Matthew 24, 24, right? But now, what Bible evidence do you have that even though a miracle can be worked? Ce dovadă biblică aveți că deși o minune poate fi încălcuită? Now this man, I worked a miracle, right? Let's say you're in my meeting. Now, Jan, I want you to do me a favor. I want you to ask the question, uh, uh, Mr. Preacher, do you believe that the law of God, the Ten Commandments, still stand, or the Bible Sabbath still stands? Can you ask that question, Jan? Because now I just worked a miracle. This man's been healed. Listen carefully. Oh, that question has always come up in our meetings. And brother, I'm so glad you asked it. Okay. Tu mai crezi în porunci, cele 10 porunci și fratele Moise Beri răspundea, O, oh, frate, întrebarea aceasta ne se pune tot timpul la întâlnirile noastre. That question has always come up in our meetings. Întotdeauna este pus această întrebare la întâlnirile noastre. And you know, brother, if you really read the Bible carefully, you would find that Jesus nailed the law to the cross. And we're not under the law, but we are the grace. Amen, everybody! Și dacă vei citi Biblia cu atenție, vei afla că noi, că... Poruncile au fost pironite la cruce și noi nu mai credem astăzi în porunci. Suntem sub har. Spuneți amin cu toții. 
God. The Sabbath is a relic of Judaism. We Christians keep Sunday because we celebrate it for the resurrection of Jesus. Glory! Hallelujah! Sabbatul este o relicvă a iudaismului. Noi astăzi nu mai ținem sabatul din acest motiv. Slavă lui Dumnezeu! Ok, now, Ioan spune că sunt un deceiv. Ok, now, turn to me the Bible. Să deschide Biblia. All right, thank you. Turn me the Bible to Deuteronomy 13. Deuteronomy 13. Read it together. Now, I want you to remember you got to have to remember what your Bible text is later. Mai târziu vă voi întreba unde sunt toate aceste versete. Trebuie să le țineți minte. Pe Deuteronomy 13. 1 la 6. If there arise among you a prophet or a dreamer of dreams, and he give thee a sign or a wonder. Dacă se va ridica în mijlocul tău un proroc sau un visător de vise care îți va vesti un semn sau o minune. And the sign or the wonder come to pass. Și se va împlini semnul sau minunea aceea. Wherefore he spake unto thee, saying, Let us go after other gods. De care ți-a vorbit el zicând, Haide-mi după alți Dumnezei which thou hast not known, and let us serve them, thou shalt not hearken unto the words of that prophet, or that dreamer of dreams. For the Lord your God proveth you to know whether ye love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul. Căci Domnul Dumnezeul vostru vă pune la încercare ca să știe dacă iubiți pe Domnul Dumnezeul vostru din toată inima voastră și din tot sufletul vostru. Ye shall walk after, he says, ye shall walk after the Lord your God and fear him and keep his commandments and obey his voice and ye shall serve him and cleave unto him. Voi să mergeți după Domnul Dumnezeul vostru și de el să vă temeți, poruncile lui să le păziți. De glasul lui să ascultați, lui să slujiți și de el să vă lipiți. And that prophet or that dreamer of dreams shall be put to death, because he has spoken to turn you away from the Lord your God, which brought you out the land of Egypt and redeemed you out of the house of bondage. Prorocul sau visătorul acela de vise să fie pedepsit cu moartea, căci a vorbit de răzgătire împotriva Domnului Dumnezeului vostru, care v-a scos din țara Egiptului și v-a izbăvit din casa robiei. To thrust thee out of the way which the Lord thy God commanded thee to walk in, so, so shall thou put the evil from the midst of thee. Și a voit să te abate de la calea în care ți-a poruncit Domnul Dumnezeu tău să umbli, să scoți astfel răul din mijlocul tău. So what would the miracles in the last days be a character of? What would the nature of the miracles be? Care va fi caracterul sau natura miracolelor care vor fi făcute în ultimele zile? Though the people are being healed, they're being led away from the what? După ce oamenii vor fi vindecați, ei vor fi îndepărtați de la ce? But they've been led away from. De la ce vor fi îndepărtați? Aha. Aha. The true. Okay. De la adevăr, da. What they've been led away from. De la ce vor fi îndepărtați? The law of God, His commandments. Would it be led away from? The law of God, His commandments. Would it be led away from? The law of God, His commandments. Would it be led away from? Law of God, His commandments. Would it be led away from? Okay, now, what Bible text is that? It shows that people can work miracles, but still can lead you away from the commandments. Ce text biblic ne arată că oamenii pot împotrivi minuni și totuși să vă îndepărteze de la legea lui Dumnezeu și de la poruncile sale? What Bible text is that now? Ce verse biblic? Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy what? Deuteronomy what? Thirteen verses one through what? Deuteronomy three verses one la șase. Deuteronomy 13, 1 through what? Okay, so now, quickly, I want you to tell me. Give me three Bible texts that, that shows that false Christ, false prophets, and miracles will be the signs of Jesus' return. Okay? Quickly, come on, come on, quickly. Okay. 
Matthew. Uh, but Matthew, come on, again, everybody, no, together. No, 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 no. Matthew 24, 4, and 5, what else? Matthew 24, 4, and 5, what else? Matthew 24, 4, and 5, what else? Matthew 24, 24, 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 what else? Matthew Turn to Matthew chapter 7, verse 21 to 23. Let's read that again. Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Okay? Matthew 7, 21 to 23. Are you there? The Bible says, The Bible says, Not everyone that saith unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he that doeth the will of my Father which is in heaven. Nu oricine îmi zice, Doamne, Doamne, va intra în Împărăția Cerurilor, ci cel ce face voia Tatălui meu care este în Cer. Now remember, we're looking for what type of miracles will they be working? Ce, uh, ce fel de miracole căutăm noi aici? Verse 22 says, Many will say to me in that day, Lord, have we not prophesied in thy name, and in thy name cast out devils, and in thy name done many wonderful works? Versetul 22 ne spune, Mulți îmi vor zice în ziua aceea, Doamne, Doamne, n-am prorocit noi în numele Tău, n-am scos noi dragi în numele Tău și n-am făcut noi multe minuni în numele Tău. What would they be doing? Ce vor face ei? They'll be saying in His name. Ei vor spune în numele they Lui. They prophesy. Au prorocit. In His name, în they lui, cast out devils. Au scos dragi. And in His name, și în numele Lui, they done many wonderful works. Au făcut multe minuni. So one of the major signs would be that they will be casting out devils. Are Christians to cast out devils? Yes. But are casting out devils evidence that you have the truth? No. no. It's prophesying in Jesus' name an evidence that you have the truth. No. What about many wonderful works? No. But we feed the poor. We clothe the naked. We provided housing for all the people on the poorest side of town. What did Jesus say? Look at verse 23. Then will I profess unto them, I never knew you. What does he don't know? What does he not recognize? He doesn't see his one. His character. In those who prophesy, cast out devils, done many wonderful works. And then the next point, one more point. Remember, Jan asked me, do I keep the law? Do I keep the commandments? I said the commandments were nailed to the cross. So I healed this man. And I led him away from the commandments. Because of that, the man is going to go back in sin. Or to iniquitous behavior. Because when Jesus healed, He said, go and sin no more. What is sin? Transgression of the law. So what is Moses saying? Go and don't transgress the law of God anymore. But I said the law was done away. So what did I need these people to do? Go back into what? Sin. 
And sin is also connected to iniquity. Și păcatul are de asemenea legătură și cu nelegiuirea. So what does Matthew 7, 23 say? And deci, ce ne spune Matei 7, 23? The last part, depart from me, ye that work iniquity. Ultima parte spune, depărtați-vă de la mine, voi toți care lucrați fără de lege. So what Bible text tells us that Jesus will reject those who work miracles and prophesy and done many wonderful works but practice iniquity and fail to have character? Deci ce ne spune Biblia că vor face cei care vor scoate dragi, vor proroci, vor face minuni în numele Lui Dumnezeu și totuși vor face, vor continua să trăiască în fără de lege? Matthew 7. Matthew 7 what? Matthew 7 what? Matthew 7 cu? Matthew what? Cât? Matthew 7. 7, 21 through? 23. 21 through 23. Matthew 7 what? 21 la 23. What does that text talk about? Despre ce ne vorbește acest verset, aceste versete? What's it talk about? Despre ce vorbesc? About the rejection of Jesus Christ and those who uh, profess uh, signs and wonders and do iniquity. Despre cei iniquity. care fac semne și minuni îl profețesc pe Iisus Hristos, dar continuă în fără de lege. Name two things that they fail to have. Numiți două lucruri pe care ei nu, to do. Pe care ei nu le au sau două lucruri pe care ei nu le fac. What are two things they fail to have? Care sunt cele două lucruri pe care Character. ei nu le au caracterul? And they don't have victory over sin. Și ei nu au biruința asupra păcatului. Because if they have victory over sin, they would not be in a new. Pentru că dacă ar biru păcatul, ei nu ar mai fi în fără de lege. They never depart from sin. Ei niciodată nu s-au depărtat de păcat. Let's go closer. All right. Get ready, because I'm gonna when we get we get third down, we're gonna go over everything again. Get ready. Can't sleep on this one. Come on. How would they appear? Look at Matthew 24. How would these prophets, false prophets, be appear? Matthew 24, 26. Matthew 24, 26. Matei 24, 26. Wherefore, now listen carefully. Just, wherefore, if they say unto you, deci, dacă vă vor zice, Behold, he is in the desert. Iată în pustiu. What's the desert? Ce este un pustiu? A far place, right? Un loc îndepărtat, nu? <coughs> so if you want to find Jesus, you're going to have to take a pilgrimage. Deci, dacă vei dori să îl găsești pe Iisus, trebuie să faci un pelerinaj. Come on, get your backpack. Come on, we're going to take a pilgrimage. We're going to go to Hungary because they say Jesus is there. Or they say the next town in a little village, a woman is able to take us to Jesus. What's, what does it mean if they say, if they, if they say I'm in the desert? Go not forth. Ce vrea să spună aici că spune dacă ni se spune iată în pustiu să nu vă duceți acolo. Behold, he is in secret chamber. What is secret chamber is talking about? Iată în odăițe ascunse. Ce sunt aceste odăițe ascunse? And Hopkins, can you tell us what secret chamber is talking about? Dacă Hopkins ne puteți spune ce sunt aceste odăițe ascunse? This is spiritualism. This is spiritualism. Spiritism. You got any illustrations of it? Did you give? Did you? Did you? Ne puteți da un exemplu? Like uh, experience or anything that you know about? Din experiență, dacă știți ceva? Often we can meet people who believe that they can foretell the future because they have been talking with them. Oh, say it again for us. Say it again for us. They can tell the future because they meet their loved ones. Sunt persoane care pot prezice viitorul din cauza faptului că ei îi întâlnesc pe cei dragi ai lor care sunt morți. Question, does anybody know any television programs that are presently on the television that's making people believe? Știe cineva despre un program televizat care se televizează în zilele noastre, program care face oamenii să creadă că that their loved ones că cei dragi ai lor îi pot, pot lua legătura cu ei. There are millions of people who are talking with their dead. Yes, I'm talking with the dead. Let me give you an example of how real spiritualism is. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let John, you translate for it. 
I met such people in, in the literature and kind of work. Am întâlnit unele persoane în lucrarea mea de evangelizare, cu literatură. I had one man who uh, he said today the, the paintings they fell from the wall. Uh, uh, ei spunea astăzi, uh, portretele acestea, tabloile, au căzut de pe perete. Și au ajuns pe masă, să sară pe masă. Și mă întrebam dacă se poate întâmpla asta. Și după aceea s-a dus la momentul la oh, he said, Mom, I forgot your birthday. Și a spus, Mom, îmi cer scuze, am uitat de ziua de la naștere. Forgive me, I now think about you. Iată, yeah. acum mă gândesc la tine. And then it was peace in the home again. Și wow. atunci, după aceea s-a făcut pace din casă. The devil knows how he needs this is, to be. This secret chamber issue is dealing with spiritualism, correct? Asta o deiță ascunsă are de a face cu spiritism, corect? Now, how would you meet it? How would you respond to it? How would you meet it? Can you meet it? Now, let me give you an example. I'm going to bring it home for some of the young people so they can get a better picture. To show you that the principalities of demonic power is very real. You ever been laying in the bed? In the middle of the night? You just came from a club or a party. And you're laying in the bed. You sleep. You really know that you're asleep. But suddenly, you wake up. But you can't move. And you're in the you're, you're conscious. And you're saying, and, and you can't move. It feels like your whole body is paralyzed. Then something says, say Jesus. And you try to speak. And you something and this feel like something's choking you. And then finally he's like, mm -hmm. Jesus! And it breaks. You ever had an experience like that? Most people don't like to talk about it. And when it happens, they be quiet, they don't tell nobody. Because they know their friends would think they're crazy. But when they get paranoid like that, because they don't know what this is, they get so paranoid they keep a light on all night long. As though the light will keep them from having that experience in the night. First of all, it's real. Second of all, it's called demonic attack. You are not crazy. Something was in the room with you. This is not a movie paranoia, paranormal, all right? This is a real situation. But did you notice that the only thing that can break it is when you try to call on Jesus? Or what about this one? You ever been in the home? And all of a sudden, in the middle of the night, one of your relatives pop up. Hey, honey. How you doing, sweetheart? And you look... Grandma? Grandma, that's you? Grandma, that's you? It's me, babe. Da, eu sunt dragă. Grandma? Bunico? Ia, hai. Da, sunt. And you touch it. Și o ating. And you felt something. Și ai simțit ceva. Then it disappeared. Apoi a dispărut. 
What is that? Is it ghost? You know, a lot of movies that are coming out on reality shows are dealing with ghost hunters. How do you meet this spiritualism, which is a sign of Jesus coming? Turn me in your Bibles to Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Let's go there together. Come on now. Don't you If you are having this experience, or if you have this experience, don't you ever forget this text. Ecclesiastes chapter 9. Ecclesiastes 9, 5, and 6. The Bible says what now? Ecclesiastes 9, 5, and 6 says, The living know that they shall what? Die. Look carefully now. The living know that they shall what, everybody? Die. But the dead know not what? The dead know not what? No, you're lying. No, This Bible is not true. I go to the graveyard every day to talk to my grandpa. I go to the headstone and I say, Papa. I'm sorry, Papa. I Are you looking at me like I lost my mind? <laughs> this is what people are doing every single day. When they don't know the Bible. This time to talk to their loved ones. Mama, I said I would not steal again. I swore on your grave I would not do it. Mama, please forgive me, Mama. Mama, I'm sure that no boy from no boy my son is that. That boy he might do in that terrible year. I'm sure he knows. What's going on? What's going on? What's he trying to do? Trying to get us apart. But does Mama hear him? Does Papa hear him? The living know that they shall die, but the dead know not what. Anything. Look at verse 6. Also their love, their hatred, their envy is now perished. Neither have they any more portion forever anything done under the sun. Well, if the dead don't know anything, then why are we going to a secret chamber? Why are we going to tarot card readers and gypsies that practice tarot cards? You have. Huh? Why do we go to the crystal ball readers? And Madame Rosa. Or Madame Maria. Uh, why do you go there? The living know that they shall die, but the dead know not what? Anything. Are you scared to go in your house at night? You scared to go to a haunted house? Is there such a thing as a haunted house? You walk into a house, you hear the steps go, You know, black people, especially, we really get scared. We be like, oh man, what's going on now? I'm not I'm not here. We said, what is that? Or are you in the middle of the night? All of a sudden, the curtain go. <laughs> What's going on? Is the house really haunted? Do we need to call some ghost hunters? Is there such a thing? Let's see about a haunted house, and then we're going to find out what the real power is behind the spiritualism. Let's go. 
cum e problema aceasta a caselor construite ca să vedem cine stă în spatele Sfintei. Să deschidem Biblia în Iov. Și vorbim aici tot despre semnele întoarcerea Sfintei. Și cum sunt înșelați oamenii prin spiritism. Carefully. Să ne uităm cu atenție. In Job chapter seven. In Job chapter seven. Let's look here for a moment at verse. Seven. Okay. Okay. Let's go to verse nine and ten. All right. As the cloud is consumed. Cum se risipește norul and vanishes away. Și trece, so he that goes down to the grave shall come up no more. Așa nu se va mai cel ce se But is that true? For me, Father, is that true? Vedeți să mai Keep going there, we're going back. I mean, there are movies that you're watching. Sunt filme pe care voi le And you're watching movies where people coming back from the dead. There are all other theaters here in Romania. And in America. Where the dead are coming back. No, 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 you don't know what I'm talking about. The people are being entertained with spiritualism. Now let's stop for a moment. The Bible said, what? That those that go down to the grave do not come up anymore. At least not on their own. When they come up, they will come up at the second coming. And then others are going to be resurrected a thousand years later. Look at verse 10, verse 11. Verse 10. Look at it carefully. He shall return no more to his house. It says, neither shall his place know him anymore. You know, have you ever been around people whose loved ones have died? And, and they say, this is little Jimmy's room. His baseball bat is still right there. And this is where Jimmy's first head is First Little League soccer games. Și aici e o poză cu Jimmy la primul lui meci de fotbal. Everything is in the room just like it was before Jimmy died. Totul în acea cameră este exact cum era înainte ca Jimmy să moară. And now, and then the parents will say, Și acum părinții spun, Sometimes we get lonely. Câteodată ne simțim singur. But we feel that little Jimmy is so near. Dar simțim că micuțul Jimmy e atât de aproape. Especially when we go in his room. Mai ales când mergem în camera lui. But what did the Bible say? Dar ce ne spune Biblia? Jimmy didn't come back. Jimmy nu s-a întors. Steven Spielberg put a movie out. Steven Spielberg a făcut un film. Sometimes they come back. În care spune câteodată se întors. But Steven Spielberg is propagating a fictitious lie. Dar Steven Spielberg propagează o minciună mare. So the Bible says they don't come back. Pentru că Biblia ne spune că ei nu se întorc. But if they don't come back, dar dacă ei nu se întorc, then who is it or what is it that we are seeing and experiencing? Cine și ce vedem noi sau experimentăm noi? Turn in your Bible to 1 Corinthians. Deschideți cu mine Biblia în 1 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians, am văzut. 2 Corinthians. 2 Corinthians chapter 11. Let's look at verses 13 and 14 together. The Bible says, For such are false apostles, deceitful workers, transforming themselves into the apostles of Christ. Therefore, it's no great thing if his ministers also be transformed into ministers of righteousness. 
Și nu este de mirare că chiar Satana se preface în termină. Verse 14 says, and no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Satan is what everybody? What did the Bible say he is? Angel of light. Angel of light. He's transformed. Transformed. What does transform mean? Se transforma, se preface. Ce înseamnă acest lucru? What does transform mean? Ce înseamnă se preface sau se transforma? Take out other sheep. Ah, to change one's shape, forma, or appearance. What is the devil able to do? Ce poate face diavolul? What is Satan able to do? Ce pot face îngerii lui Satan? To change his shape, forma, or I put outward, sau înfățișarea exterioară, form, forma exterioară, or his outward appearance, sau înfățișarea exterioară. What? Cum? So who was who was standing in the bedroom that day? Deci cine stătea în acel dormitor în ziua respectivă? Hey, honey. Bună, dragă. It's me. Sunt eu. Who are you talking to? Cine îți vorbea? It looks like your grandma. Părea ca fi bunica. It sounds like grandma. Se auzea ca și cum ar fi ea. But it's not grandma. Dar nu era bunica. Who is talking to you? Cine îți vorbea atunci? Satan has done what at that point? Transformed his outward appearance and now personates your loved one. Satan și a schimbat înfățișarea exterioară și acum o personifică pe persoana dragă ție. Looks like it. Arată exact ca ea. Sounds like it. Se aude sau sună ceva. They say some of the very secrets that you once had that only you and them knew. Îți spun de chiar unele secrete pe care tu le aveai și pe care le știai doar tu și persoana respectivă. Spiritualism. Spiritism. How many people? Câți oameni? In Romania. În România. Am făcut și în spiritualism. Sunt prinși în acest fenomen, în spiritism. And can we try to communicate with the dead? Și încearcă să comunice cu cei morți. Let's go a little closer. We come outside. So, what Bible text? Check text Bible. What Bible text tells you that Satan can transform himself into your loved one? Check text Bible. We are told that Satan can be transformed into the one that he wants to be with. Second Corinthians. Second Corinthians. What? Second Corinthians. Good. Eleven fourteen. What Bible text shows that the dead cannot come back to the house, so you can sell it and make some money? Ce verset vă spune că cei morți nu se întorc în casa în care au locuit și ca să o puteți vinde și să faceți bani în ea? Job 7, 9 și 10. Ce Bible text shows că cei morți nu pot veni de la grăbă? On their own. Ce text biblic vă arată că cei morți nu se pot întoarce singuri din mormânt? Ecclesiastic 9, 5, 6. If that says 9, 5, 6, and also you have Job 7, 9. Okay. All right. What Bible text shows that there will be false Christ and false prophets? What text Bible tells me that there will be false Christ and false prophets? Okay. What Bible text shows that Bible that false prophets will will lead you away from the commandments of God to their miracles. Deuteronomy 1. 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 Deuteronomy 1.
Deschideți împreună cu mine Biblia din Matei 24 cu versetul 30. How would Jesus come? Cum va veni Isus? Matei 24 cu 30. Ați deschis? Ați găsit? How would Jesus come? Cum va veni Isus? The Bible says, and then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man in heaven. And then, and, and then shall all the tribes be of mourned. And they shall see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory. But how would Jesus come? How would he come? Is it a secret? No, what did Matthew 24:30 say? Let's break it down. Come on, let's break it down together. Come on, come on. Listen, you got to be good Bible students. There is a few students that are very smart and good. You got to be the healthiest people out here. Amen. There is a few students that are smart and good. You got to know your Bible so you can help these people. There is a few students that are smart and good. You got to know your Bible so you can help these people. And at the same time, you need to know the Bible so you can also not be deceived and know how to defend yourself against spiritual. Enemies like the demonic powers. Și în același timp trebuie să vă cunoașteți Biblia ca să nu puteți fi înșelați și să știți cum să vă apărați împotriva puterii. Să ne uităm la prima parte din Matei 24. Și ați considerat cu atenție ce spune. Atunci shall see. Atunci se va arăta la mijlocul versetului și vor vedea. Ați prins acest lucru? Câteodată citim versetul prea repede. Îl citim și s-a dus. Și vor vedea. 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 Și Before we go any further, we got a couple two texts together and break them down together. You ready? Vom studia două versete și le vom compara împreună. Matthew twenty four thirty. Matei douăzeci patru cu treizeci. Now let's connect that to Revelation. Să ne legăm de Apocalipsa. One. Unu. Cu șase. Now I'm going to go. I'm going to. I'm going to quote. But I'm going to quote. I'm going to quote the major point that goes with Matthew twenty four thirty, and we're going to connect everything. Să voi cita din acest verset punctele majore care se suprapun cu Matei 24 cu 30. Apocalipsa nu cu șapte, iată că e cel mai nor. Și orice ochi îl va vedea. Îl va vedea. Now what did Matthew twenty four thirty say? She has put in Matthew twenty four thirty five thirty six. And they shall see who. She will be there to see. Go back to Matthew twenty four thirty. The scripture verse twenty four thirty six in Matthew twenty four thirty five. Matthew twenty four thirty. Watch here. Matthew twenty four thirty six. Hold on, make sure I got this right. Matthew twenty four thirty. And there, I'm sorry. And there shall appear. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. And they shall, and then shall appear. I'm sorry. I made a mistake. Hold on. Huh? Let me make sure right here. Let me make sure I get the point right. This says, then shall all try for more. Right. And they shall see. Right. That's the one. Who are they going to see? They're going to see who? Matthew 24, 30 said. They're going to see the who? See. Son of man. Only. Right? Revelation 1 7 says, Every eye shall see him. Who is the him in Revelation 1 7? Cine este acel el pe care îl vor vedea cei pe care îl vedem în Apocalipsa 1 cu 7? The Son of Man. Fiul omului. Who is who shall they see? Pe cine vor vedea cei în 24 cu 30? The Son of Man. Pe Fiul omului. So when Jesus comes. Deci atunci când Iisus vine. Are you going to miss it? Nu veți vedea mai acest lucru? Are you going to say, oh, Jesus came and I didn't see. Veți spune, a, a venit Iisus și eu nu l-am văzut. 
nu. The Bible said they shall what? Biblia spune ei see. Îl vor vedea. See the Son of Man. Ei îl vor vedea pe Fiul Lui. What do they want to see? the Son of Man. Ce vor vedea ei în afară de Fiul Lui? Look at Matthew 24:30. And then shall appear the sign of the Son of Man. Atunci se va arăta semnul Fiului Omului. What is the sign? Care este semnul? What is the specific sign of the Son of Man? Care este semnul specific al Fiului Omului? Question: What is the sign? Care este semnul? Of Son of Man. Fiului Omului. No. Coming with the clouds. The clouds. The Bible says again. Besides Matthew 24:30. 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 Besides Matthew 24
can come with all type of stuff at you. And that's what I'm doing. I'm confirming your belief, but at the same time I'm giving you objections and 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 scenarios where people ask these type of questions in the field. Anybody that goes out in the field witnessing knows that these questions are the ones you hit that, that people ask you on a daily basis. Now, what do you say if I'm, I'm giving an objection right now? Now, my pastor is a very learned man. My pastor lives a holy life. Pastor even speaks in other tongues. Pastor And my pastor, if anybody knows how Jesus is coming, my pastor knows how Jesus is coming. And my pastor said that Jesus will come in a secret rapture. My pastor wouldn't lie to me. Now, notice the posture. So if I said that to you, my pastor wouldn't lie to me. Now look at me with this mean look. <laughs> so what does that mean? You get scared now? You get intimidated? No. No. You say, I understand what you're saying. But the Bible says, you point them back to the Bible. Your pastor may be a good man, an honest man, but the Bible says, then you say, surely if your pastor believed the Bible, he would see things differently. You follow me now? Right I understand. Okay? Let's go to our next one. How should you test what people say? How should you test what people say? What Bible text gives us the uh, gives us the method of how we should test a person? Let me give you, let me give you, let me give you an example now. Hello, my name is Evangelist Billy Graham. And we want to thank God for all of you wonderful people coming to this stadium to hear the Word of God. We want to talk about today the rapture of the church. That when Jesus comes, the righteous will be caught up to meet him in the air. We will be raptured up while the rest of the wicked will have seven years to have to be to live out before they can be saved. What's wrong with this thing? How do you know it's false? I mean, I'm Billy Graham. My popularity is all over the world. Everyone watches my DVD. I'm on the magazine cover of Time. My books and everything can be found on the internet. I didn't seem to impress you. Why? <laughs> like, mm. All right. Let's, yes, Jan. And the Pope likes me very much. Yes, and the Pope likes me very much. So why won't you 
except my teachings. Turn to Isaiah 8.20, please. Isaiah 8.20. Isaiah 8.20, the Bible says, to the law and to the what? If they speak not according to this word, it's because there is no light in them. What does the Bible mean when it says no light in them in Isaiah 8, 20? Alright, what does it mean, no light in them? Says, no light in them. No light in them. First of all, let's break it down. What is light? Jesus. Jesus. Now remember, everything you tell me, you give me a Bible text. Yeah, give me a Bible text now. Alright, what is life? Come on, talk to me. Now you've been listening to sermon after sermon after sermon. It is time to reevaluate your mind and turn the clock forward. Pull back all that wonderful information and now tell me what life Okay? Bible text. Psalms 119, 105. Talking about what is life. We're breaking down Isaiah 20, by the way, so you can get it. What is life? John 8, 12. Jesus said, I am the light of the world. He that follows me should not walk in darkness and have the life of life. John 8, 12. Jesus is light. Psalm 19, 5 says, Thy word is Light. Anything else online? Anything else online? What else is light? Jesus is light. The word is light. Turn me to Proverbs 6.23. Proverbs 6.23. Proverbs 6.23. Proverbs 6.23. The Bible says what? The commandment is a lamp and the law is a light. The reproof and destruction are a way of life. What's light now? The law. Okay? So wait a minute. What else is light? Turn to Psalms 36, 7. I think it's Psalms 36. It's 36, let me see. 36, 36. There's one. There's one for that right. There's one. There's one. Psalms 36, 6. Oh, no, it's going to be a false one. 37, 6. Psalms 37, 6. Psalms 37, 6. Psalms 37, 6. Psalms 37, 6. The Bible said, what? The Bible said, what? The Bible said, what? The Bible said, what? It says, they shall, they, and he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the what? Righteousness is light. Righteousness is what? Are you sure? Why is righteousness light? What? Because Psalms 37 says huh? that. 
Because Psalm 37, 6 says that? Okay? But da. let me ask you this now. What is righteousness? What is before? Do you know Let me give you one text. But of him are ye in Christ Jesus, who of God has made unto us wisdom, righteousness, sanctification, and redemption. Jesus is light, Jesus is righteousness. Mm -hmm. 1 Corinthians 1 30. 1 Corinthians 1 Now watch this. It's connect again. In Psalms 119, 105, the Bible says, Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Is that true? Yeah, That's true. Yeah. But the word is a lamp unto my feet and a light. What's another word for? What's another word for the word word? Give me a synonym. Yeah. Yeah, you say that word, you can say the Bible, the word, or the... Starts with an S. Starts with an S. It starts with an S. The word I want looking for starts with an S. What is another word for the word? Scriptures. Scriptures. Turn me to 2 Timothy 3, 16. 2 Timothy 3, 16. We know the word is light. Do what the Bible says. The Bible says what? It says all scripture is given by inspiration of God. And it's profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction and what? In what? In righteousness. But what did Psalms 37 6 tell us about righteousness? Righteousness is also what? Light. So I'm sitting in darkness. How can I come out of darkness? How can I come out of this confused world? How, where can I find some instruction on how to come out of darkness? It's the scriptures. You mean that Bible? You mean this Bible? This black book has light? I don't see no light in here. Where is the light? I'm looking for it. I don't know where I go. I'll, I'll watch TV. Maybe I'll find the light there. I know what I'll do. I'll go to this church and that church. Went to this church, no light there. Went to this church, had fun, nice music, no light there. Oh Lord, where is the light? The light is in Jesus. The light Lumina. was that old Bible your grandmother gave you. The light Lumina. has been sitting right in front of you the whole time. And the Bible says it gives instruction in righteousness. And he shall bring forth thy righteousness as the what? Light. So what does Jesus mean when he says, walk in the light? Oh, walk outside, right? Ah, wow. Is that what he's talking about? 
Walk in the light. Umblat in lumina. Receive the instruction from the scriptures. Primiți învățăturile din scriptură. For this is the light. Pentru că aceasta este lumina. And this light gives instruction in righteousness. Și această lumină dă învățătura în neprihănire. You know why I have gone over this? Știi de ce am mers peste toate aceste lucruri? Because for years. Pentru că timp de mulți ani. I didn't know my Bible. And I used to pray that God would help me to find life. To one day know the truth. I went everywhere. I did not know that the light that I was looking for was right in front of me the whole time. And that the light was connected to righteousness. And righteousness is connected to the love of God. And that love is revealed in the face of Jesus Christ. How many years did I lose? How many disappointments I had? Because only the light of God takes away the emptiness that we have in our hearts. I only wish I had known what I'm telling you sooner in life. My life would have been different. Certain habits I would have never formed. Certain places I would never get, never went. Certain people or relationships I would have never got involved in. If I had only known that the light was right in front of me, God's love has never been far away. Nu a fost niciodată departe. You just didn't know. Doar că tu nu ai știut. I didn't know. Eu nu am știut. I didn't even know my Bible like I know it now. Și în acel timp eu nu cunoșteam Biblia. When I found Jesus. Dar când l-am găsit pe Iisus. In the pages of the scriptures. În paginele scripturii. My life changed forever. Viața mea s-a schimbat pentru totdeauna. It pulled me off the streets of Detroit. M-a scos de pe străzile orașului Detroit. It changed me from a liar, cursing, violent individual. M-a schimbat dintr-o persoană violentă, dintr-un mincinos. A man that wanted to love God and work to save souls. Într-un om care vrea să-L iubească pe Dumnezeu și să lucreze la salvarea sufletelor. It took away the superstitions that I once believed from my family and from my church. And from the traditions of my fathers. The Bible opens our eyes. You see, when you say you want him in your heart, it's not just here, it's here. <coughs> here he must have control of your will. Here, He has control of your emotions. God says in Isaiah 1:18-19. He says, "Come now. Let us reason together. He speaks to you. He said, we need to talk." El îți spune, trebuie să vorbim. Though your sins be as scarlet. De vor fi păcatele voastre cum e cârmâzul. Sins that you're tired of. Păcate de care ați obosit. Sins of regret. Păcate pe care le regretați. Sins that bring guilt. Păcate care aduc vină. Though your sins be as scarlet. De vor fi păcatele voastre cum e cârmâzul. A stain that just cannot be Forgotten or erased. 
He says today. Y el le spune, if you let me in your life. Astăzi, dacă mă lași în viața ta, and you believe my word. Și crezi cuvântul meu. They shall be whiter than snow. I can take away your guilt. I can remove the stain of sin. I can change your heart. I can give you a new life. A new life. How many people long for a new start? You know, I used to go to clubs and be dancing my heart. Drinking and dancing. And yet, when it would be over, I would be with my girlfriend. She would talk about how much she loves me. And I would say, yeah, yeah. And she's always said, why don't you ever tell me that you love me? I said, I can't. I said, no, because I don't love nobody but my mom. <laughs> but that was a cop -out. You see, I did love her. But, but I made myself a promise because I got hurt that I'd never say it to a woman again. Dar mi-am făcut mie însumi o promisiune din cauza că am fost rănit. Mi-am promis mie că nu vă mai spune niciodată But, acest lucru, dar when I would leave, după ce plecam and go home, și mergeam acasă, I would be very empty on the inside. Înăuntru eram foarte gol. There would be times I thought about suicide. A fost momente în care m-am gândit la sinucidere. I said, maybe I should end my life. Because is this all I got? This is the way I should live? What's missing? What's missing? What's missing? I searched. I thought hard. I said, something's missing. How is it I can go to a party and be with my friends and, and have sex and do all this and still be empty? Și mă gândeam, cum se poate să mă duc eu la toate aceste petreceri, să fiu cu prietena mea, să dormim împreună și totuși să fiu gol pe din nou mufă. Ce lipsea? Apoi, în noapte, somebody gave me a record. Cineva mi-a dat un CD. My mother gave it to me, by the way. De fapt, mama a fost cea care mi-a dat. In the middle of night, I came from a party, 3 o'clock in the morning. În mijlocul nopții mă întorceam de la o petrecere, petrecere la ora 3 dimineața. And I was, thought I was high, but all of a sudden I was sober. Eu credeam că nu eram chiar treaz, dar se pare că totuși eram treaz. And I decided to play this record. Și am pus să, să ascult ceea ce mi-a dat. And never get it. It was called Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. Niciodată n-am să uit cum se numea, era Iisus. Este cel mai bun lucru care mi s-a putut întâmpla. I listened to the words over and over and over again at night. Am ascultat în această oară cuvintele acelui cântec din nou și din nou. Because deep in the back of my heart, Pentru că în adâncul inimii mele, I wanted to change. Vroiam să mă schimb. You see, I was tired of fornicating. Eram obosit de atâta păcat. I was tired of lying. Eram obosit să mințesc. I was tired of pretending. Era obosit să mai pretind. To be something I wasn't. Să fiu cineva cine nu eram. I was tired of trying to fit in with people and keep their acceptance. Era obosit să încerc să mă acomodez printre oameni, să îi accept, să mă accepte. I wanted something more. Vreau ceva mai mult. But I didn't know how to find it. Dar nu am știut cum să lăsesc acest lucru. So in desperation I got on my knees at night. Așa că în disperarea mea în acea seară m-am plecat pe genunchi. I said, Lord, if you're real, și am spus, Doamne, dacă ești real, ajută-mă. Save-mă. Salvează-mă. Show me the truth. Arată-mă adevărul. If there is such a thing, show me. Dacă există adevărul, arată-mă. Three days later. Trei zile mai târziu. I was working at a job. Lucram la o slujbă. I was invited to an evangelistic meeting. Acolo am fost invitat la o... Întâlnire de evangelizare. I was only going because of the girl that invited me. 
Și eram acolo doar pentru că o fată m-a invitat. Dar în acea întâlnire, The Lord spoke to me. Dumnezeu mi-a vorbit. What he said to me that și ce mi-a spus El în acea zi, mi-a schimbat viața pentru totdeauna. I gave my life to Jesus. De atunci mi-am dat viața lui Iisus. I don't regret one day. Nu regret nici măcar o zi. I said only one thing, Lord, am spus atunci un singur lucru, if you're real, Doamne, dacă ești adevărat, then teach me the Bible. Atunci învață-mă Biblia. And if you teach me, și dacă tu mă înveți, then I will go any way you want me to go and I will teach it to others. Atunci eu voi merge oriunde tu mă trimiți și îmi voi învăța pe alții. That was my covenant with God. Acesta a fost legământul meu cu Dumnezeu. God heard my prayers. Dumnezeu mi-a auzit rugăciunea. And that's the only reason why I'm standing here today. Și acesta este singurul motiv pentru care eu mă aflu aici în fața voastră. Because my covenant was. Pentru că legământul meu. If you teach me. Era dacă tu mă vei învăța. And I will teach you. Atunci și eu voi învăța pe alții. I'll go anywhere you want me to go. Mă duc oriunde vrei tu ca eu să merg. And from that time to this one. Și de atunci până la astăzi. He has sent me literally around the world. El m-a trimis chiar în toată lumea. We'll talk more about the second coming in and our study on tomorrow. În studiul de mâine vom vorbi mai multe despre cea de a doua venire. So, go over your texts. Așa că repetați versetele acestea. Don't ignore, don't neglect what you just went over. Nu ne gândeați ceea ce deja ați învățat. On tomorrow, dacă mâine, you will be tested. Veți fi testați. And we'll talk about some more things. Și vom mai vorbi și despre alte lucruri. But beloved, dar dragii mei, Jesus changed my life. Iisus mie mi-a schimbat viața. And I'm happy. Și sunt fericit. I don't have that empty feeling anymore. Nu mai am sentimentul acela de gol. The greatest The greatest joy I get is not preaching. Și vreau să vă spun cea mai mare bucurie mea nu e predicatul. My greatest joy. Cea mai mare bucurie mea is soul. Is is working for one soul. Este să lucrez pentru un suflet. Is to talk one on one. Este să vorbesc de la persoană la persoană. To give a Bible study. Să dau studii biblice. Or give a testimony about Jesus. Sau să dau mărturie despre Isus. To share. Christ with others and talk about how God's love changed my life. Să le împărtășesc pe Iisus cu alții, să le spun cu dragostea lui Dumnezeu, lui Iisus mi-a schimbat lui. When I meet people, I don't talk about the Sabbath first. Când întâlnesc oameni, eu nu le spun prima dată despre Sabbath. Or the law. Sau despre lege. I talk about Jesus first. Și mai întâi le spun despre Iisus. And what Jesus did for me. Și ce a făcut Iisus pentru mine. And then. Iar apoi. Somehow they get curious to want to know what type of faith do I have. Ei devin curbioși și vor să afle ce fel de prezință am eu. Then I talk about the commandments and God's love. Le vorbesc despre porunci, despre dragostea lui Dumnezeu. And then we get around to the Sabbath and other things. Și apoi, mai apoi, ajungem și la Sabbat și la alte lucruri. There is no joy. Nu e bucurie mai mare. Like working for Jesus. Decât cea, decât a lucrat pentru Hristos. There is no greater satisfaction in life. Nu este nicio satisfacție mai mare în viață. Knowing That you're working for souls for the glory of God in His kingdom. De cât aștept că tu lucrezi pentru sufletele, pentru slava lui Dumnezeu în împărăția sa. This is a moment in time. Acesta este un moment. This moment will go into eternity. Dar acest moment va dura în veșnicie. And it will be remembered by God. Și Dumnezeu își va aduce aminte de ea. Especially if I'm saved in God's kingdom. Mai ales dacă voi fi salvat în poporul lui Dumnezeu. How would you like? To exchange impudence for love. Exchange impudence. Voi aș dori să schimbați această golițune în schimbul vieții, să primiți această golițune în schimbul vieții. How would you like? V-ar plăcea. To begin a new life today. Să vă începeți viața astăzi. Right now. Chiar acum. This moment. În acest moment. While the Spirit of God speaks to you. În timp ce Duhul lui Dumnezeu îți vorbește, How would you like Jesus to be a friend coming to your heart? Ți-ar plăcea ca Iisus să-ți fie prieten și să vină în inima ta? And from this day, Și începând cu această zi, You still be you. Vei fi tot tu, But you will have a new mind. Dar vei avea o minte nouă, With new motives. Motive noi. With new desires. Cu noi dorințe. A desire to live for 
Christ and for others. Dorința de a trăi pentru Hristos și pentru alții. And you will have a hunger to know the scriptures. Și ți se va face foame ca să cunoști scripturile. And as you open the scriptures. Și în timp ce deschizi scripturile. The Holy Spirit will give you instruction to walk in the light. Duhul Sfânt te va învăța cum să umbli în lumină. Walk in righteousness. Să umbli în epihanie. Anyone like to have that experience? Are you ready to have that experience? I know Jesus. If that's your desire, would you stand? Da, că aceasta este dorința voastră. Vă să vă ridicați între una de mine. Să vă ridicați între una de mine. Let's pray. Și să ne ridicăm. Father in heaven. Father in heaven. Lord, you know we've been talking about the second coming. Sometimes when we talk about this subject, it brings fear to our hearts. Because we wonder in our minds, how can we possibly be ready? We see our sins and our guilt. We see how we are so far from you. Vedem cât de departe suntem de tine. But Lord, we ask for grace. Dar Doamne, cerem harul tău. And mercy. Și mila ta. That you might come into the heart of everyone here today. Ca tu să vii în inima fiecăruia de aici, astăzi. Father, some have come long distances. Tată, sunt unii care au venit au călătorii distanțe mari. To find you. Pentru a te găsi. They have looked for the light. Ei au căutat lumina. And today they have found it. It has been revealed to them because it's your desire that they learn your ways. That they unite with your people and keep your commands. Lord, enlighten their minds. Come into our hearts. We willingly yield our will to Thee. Ne predăm bună știre, voința noastră ție. Grant us now that Holy Spirit. Dă-ne acum Duhul Tău ce îți spune. And may He begin a new life in us today. Și El să înceapă noi o nouă viață astăzi. Being born again. Să fim născuți din nou. Not of corruptible sin. Nu dintr-o natură căzută. But by the Word of God. Ci din cuvântul lui Dumnezeu. Would you let us and abide forever. Să vin și te locuie pentru noi totdeauna. Lord, we claim by faith a new heart. Doamne, îți cerem prin credință. But you said a new heart will I give you. O nouă inimă, pentru că tu ai spus că ne vei da o nouă inimă. And I will take away the stony heart. Și vei lua inima noastră de piatră. And give you a heart of flesh. Vă voi da o inimă nouă, o inimă de carne. And I'll put my spirit within you. Și Duhul meu va lupte cu voi. You shall walk in my ways and keep my statutes. Vei țumbla în căile mele și te-ți părți porunciile mele. And my laws. Lord, thank you. Doamne, îți mulțumim. For a new heart. Pentru o inimă nouă. Thank you for creating us clean hearts, O God. Îți mulțumim pentru că ne-ai făcut inimă curată, Doamne. And renewing a right spirit with us. Și te rugăm să ne înnoiești inimile noastre. Thank you for revealing the light. Îți mulțumim că ne-ai descoperit lumina. There's someone here today. Ca cei de aici astăzi. Had been searching for. For a long, long time. Let them now be able to rest in Jesus. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. This afternoon we talk.